Well, it's about nine o'clock. It's raining, it's been raining all night. It looks like it may drop, drop out in the afternoon, but one forecast says it's going to rain all day, one says it's not. We'll have to wait and see. I got a fella uh, on his way over with some drop off knives. Might be a knife day. I don't know how many he's got or what they are, but he said he'd be here in about 40 minutes from Portsmouth, which is a, about 25 miles away or so. I'll get back to you. Well, the knives just came in. Oh, we've got two pair of nippers. High class ones, they look like. Some of them you can buy for $5 a pair brand new and some cost 25 and 30. I'll take a look at them in a minute. Let's see what's in here. Good knife man. What do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 knives and two pair of nippers. That's a good Monday rainy day. Damn. Well, it's just a light sprinkle right now. Looks like the sun is trying to come out. You can see it's just a sprinkle on the water. Something might, we might get in a spin today. I don't know. I just finished up the knives, so I'm free. He's coming back around four to pick them up. Well, the rain came back with a vengeance. It's raining hard, it was earlier this morning. Well, I just sharpened some knives for the butcher. Four butcher knives, three, four, let's say three butcher knives, four bony knives. Butcher's been busy. He's been my really only customer I've had because he's been selling a lot of meat. Well, I guess this is the only spin we'll get today. Rain stopped about an hour ago. The sun is trying to get out. But I don't think it's going to make it. What's the matter? Trying to get around the popper. You want to go down to Berry Street? No, let's go this way. I don't know if you can see them or not. They go, kind of, there they are. We got a pair of uh, ospreys hunting on the edge of the bay, chirping. They go behind them trees and they can't see them. Come on. Come on. It's rough as bricks and cold. I'm underdressed. Washing machine. Maybe something will be moving tomorrow. Let's go. Chicken. Would you believe a guy just called me? Said I'm I'm on my way over to drop off some more knives. I did his knives. I don't know when I did them. Uh, he brought them to the gun show. One of the gun shows. A lot of my knife people are coming to the gun show, but they won't pay. They'll just come into the lobby and call me, and either me or Tracy go outside and get them. And I mean, not outside, but go into the lobby and pick them up and go back into the show and sharpen them and bring them back out to them. This is one of those guys. 
But he only had three or three knives. He says he got eight knives and a pocket knife. I guess I'll have to wait till he gets there to see. This little oven does a fantastic job. It's a Breville. I don't know what they call it. Confection oven or something, but it's, you can see it's not very big. Made like a microwave. That's uh, like three days worth of dinner right there. The knives just came in. He's got uh, one, two, three, four, five Wustoffs, one angle serrated. This says it's a spiker class. I've never seen one. Spitzen class. And a Cafalon vegetable cleaver and a 9100 automatic Benjamade. And this baby here, as you can see, he's got a bad chip in him. But that'll that'll be gone pretty soon. So I got something to do in the morning. Okay. See you tomorrow.